So it's a bit chilly out there today, and I've been getting a lot of questions asked. How do you know the difference between an angostitin and an auriculitis shark tooth since they're in the same family lineage? So I figured I'd explain a little bit and see if I could help you out. This is one of the biggest angostitins that I have. I'm trying to make it quick. It does look very bulbous which is a characteristic of an auriculitis, like you will see right here, found by the Bassicks. Matthew Bassick, I think, is the one who found this one. What a phenomenal sp specimen. This is found at Harleyville. This is an auriculitis right here. You can kind of see from those cusps and the bulbousness of that root right there. This, on the other hand, I found in Somerville not quite as bulbous, and uh, you can kind of look at the cusp there. I know I left some of the dirt on it. This is an angostitin, one of the biggest angies that I have, and it is sometimes really difficult to tell the difference between the two, um, so I'm going to try to get some that are kind of close in comparison of size. This is an angie found in Somerville. Maybe you can see from the root a little bit. Just kind of look at the cusps on the back. This is about the same size, and this is a, an auriculitis. As you can see, it has a kind of like a bigger bump on it, or more bulbous, we would say. You can kind of see the separation there of that cuspid, which helps it. Also, uh, for me, it's the location. The only real way to truly know is the location. And these... Ricks and Angies do get quite large. You can see the cusps there. It's my favorite Rick, one of my favorite Ricks I ever found. I actually left some of the matrix on there just uh, so you can see where it came from out of the formation that came from the green cap there in Harleyville. Um, but when the Angostitans do get kind of big like this one, they will look somewhat bulbous as well. And that's just what big teeth do. And um, like I said, really the only real way to know if it's an angostitin versus an auriculitis is to exactly know where it's from. Only an auriculitis here in South Carolina is found in Harleyville. Uh, you're not going to find them just in walking around a creek. So here is some beautiful ricks. That's a beautiful rick there. Kind of see from the colors. And then here is a beautiful... Angus Tyden, right there. Hope that helps.